Nicholas Latifi isn't having a great start to his F1 season. The Canadian driver has struggled to get on the leaderboard, while his teammate Alex Albon has hit the ground running. These lack of results, coupled with Williams' new financial backing, could mean that Latifi is in trouble for 2023. So, does Latifi have a future at Williams? Let's take a look. As always, I think it's important with these videos that you take into account the full career of a driver. And in Latifi's case, his karting career started at the relatively late age of 13. Latifi had some success in the Canadian and American karting series, but he first started his single-seater journey in 2012. His formula career was rather up and down. In the 2013 Toyota Racing Series, Latifi finished 9th, and he ended his two European F3 seasons in 15th and 10th respectively. Throughout 2014 and 2015, Latifi made appearances in Formula 2, but his first full-time drive came in 2016 with Dams. In his first year, Latifi finished 16th in the championship, while his teammate Alex Lynn finished 6th with 101 more championship points. Latifi remained with Dams for 2017 and achieved a decent fifth place, but this was still behind his teammate Oliver Rowland. In 2018 and 2019, Latifi continued for two consecutive years with Dams. 2018 wasn't a particularly good year for Latifi as he finished ninth, but 2019 saw the Canadian achieve several podiums and finish second behind championship winner Nick de Vries. After claiming runner-up position in Formula 2, Latifi joined Williams as a full-time F1 driver, replacing Robert Kubica. However, his first year didn't exactly go smoothly, as he finished dead last in 21st place in the championship, while teammate George Russell finished 18th. Latifi's second year in Formula 1 was much better. He ended the year in 17th with 7 points. However, this upward trajectory hasn't continued going into 2022. He's so far been overshadowed by teammate Alex Albon, who has come back to F1 after a year out of the sport. Speaking about his lacklustre performance, Latifi has said he doesn't feel comfortable with the FW44. He said the Williams car is missing downforce and struggling with balance issues. It's also likely that Latifi could be struggling with confidence issues following the 2021 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix and the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix earlier this year. And it's important to note that going into 2023, Williams has no drivers under contract. And last year, team boss Jos Capito said Williams no longer needed pay drivers, of which Latifi had been considered as following the Rilton Capital's takeover. Williams also has three brilliant rookie drivers vying for their F1 seat. Defending Formula E champion and Mercedes F1 reserve driver Nick de Vries recently filled in for Albon in FP1 at the Spanish Grand Prix and finished ahead of Latifi in the timesheets. With Mercedes's link to Williams, de Vries is an interesting proposal for the team. Alpine reserve driver and F2 champion Oscar Piastri is also a shoe in for Williams in 2023, according to Ted Kravitz. The Sky Sports reporter said Piastri is being sought after by Williams for a seat in 2023. And rounding out the driver rumours is Logan Sargent. The American joined Williams' driver academy as part of a long-term agreement in October 2021. Sargent is currently racing in his first F2 season under Carlin and is sixth in the championship. Do you think Latifi will remain at Williams for 2023? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more content in the future. Until next time.